The objective of this kit assembly job is to build boxes, kits, and partitions to assemble shipping containers for customer products. The equipment used includes a work table, a roller conveyor. The tools used include a porta band to tighten, connect, and cut the banding material, banding shears to cut the banding material. The materials used include box bottoms, box tops, partitions, assembled boxes, pallets, banding material. The personal protective equipment included steel-toed shoes, safety glasses, nitrile cut-resistant gloves. The work environment is an inside work environment without heat and air conditioning. The workers observed were 5 feet 9 inches tall and 4 feet 8 inches tall. The work tasks for the observed kit assembly job include complete box assembly by positioning partitions, Band leftover partitions. These will be stored and used at another time. The work methods for the observed kit assembly job include 1. For the complete box assembly by positioning partitions work task, Lift and position a pallet on the roller conveyor. Lift and position a stack of partitions on the work table. Lift the box bottom and position it on the work table. Get and position seven partitions in the box bottom. Lift the box bottom with the partitions and position it on the pallet. Lift the box top and position it on the box bottom. Please note that the assembled boxes with partitions are stacked three high on the pallet that is positioned on the roller conveyor. For the band leftover partitions work task, straighten the partitions. Get the banding material, port a band, and banding shears. Position the banding material under and around the stack of partitions. Tighten and secure the banding material using the porta band. Remove excess banding material using the banding shears. Position and tape the product label on the stack of partitions. There were several ergonomic risk factors observed for the kit assembly position. Repeated and sustained exertions were rated as a medium high pace. Hands were in constant rapid steady motion and exertion to position partitions in boxes. Brief pauses were observed while walking to pick up materials. Work is self-paced. Sustained exertions were observed and included. Continuous standing. Workers walk to pick up and position materials. Continuous neck flexion or forward bending to view work while positioning partitions and banding. Continuous torso flexion and squatting or kneeling while banding. Forceful exertions were required to lift, carry, and position a stack of partitions. Lift, carry, and position box bottoms, box tops, and full boxes with partitions. A pinch grip is used to position partitions in the box. Push and pull pallets to position on the roller conveyor. Awkward postures were observed and include torso flexion to get box bottoms and tops and to position them on the roller conveyor, neck flexion, 
forearm pronation, extended reach, and torso flexion while positioning partitions. Extreme torso flexion to get the box top that is positioned on the floor and to secure the bands. Extreme torso flexion to push the pallet on the roller conveyor. Squatting and extreme torso flexion to position bands around the pallet of partitions. Squatting, torso flexion, neck flexion, torso lateral bending, and neck lateral bending during the banding process. The mechanical or localized contact stress observed was contact stress between the knee and the floor and the pallet while banding pallets of partitions. Contact stress was also observed between the hand and arm and edges of the corrugated material. It's important to note that gloves are worn. The recommendations for the kit assembly job include Investigate using knee pads or other kneeling pads to decrease contact stress while banding partitions. Consider using adjustable height lift tables for pallets of partitions and for box tops and box bottoms to decrease posture stress and contact stress. Consider using adjustable height workbenches to decrease posture stress while assembling boxes and adding partitions. Investigate using adjustable height lift devices on the conveyor so the boxes can be slid onto the pallet to decrease forceful exertions and posture stress. Additional mechanisms may be needed to assist with sliding and positioning the boxes.